Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take a look at my Dragon Ball video game collection. That's right, you're going to be taking a look at all the Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT uh, video games that I have. So, without further ado, let's start out over here with my oldest video game. Old, not oldest as in I've had it the longest, just oldest as in it's you know, it came out before any of them. Uh, Dragon Power. This technically isn't a Dragon Ball video game, but it is based on a Dragon Ball video game. It's the North American version of uh, Dragon Ball The Legend of Shenlong, I think, or Shenron, whatever you want to call them. Um, I talked about this briefly in one of my other videos, but uh, my friend took me to like this retro video game store, and they sell like all these old video games, and it's really awesome. And I was just kind of looking around, and I found uh, Dragon Power in there for like 15 bucks, 15 or 20 bucks. It, it was pretty, it was pretty cheap, and I didn't have it before, so I decided to get it. And uh, the the box is in okay condition, but it has everything. It has the cartridge, the manual, and and everything in it. So I just thought it would be really cool to have. Um, Legend of Shenlong. It's it's not the first Dragon Ball game ever, but it's one of the first. Uh, and this is just the the North American version of it. It's pretty much the same game, except they just changed up a few things. Um, you can't really see it because this camera really sucks, but, uh, you know, instead of, uh, Dragon Balls, they call them Crystal Balls, the seven Crystal Balls. Uh, Goku's name is, is the same, but, uh, Balma's name is changed to Nora, um, Swift Cloud instead of Nimbus, Magic Pole instead of Power Pole. Uh, <laughs> it's really weird. It is a really, really weird game. Um, look it up on YouTube. Uh, admittedly, I've never actually played this before. I don't have a Nintendo. I just got it to have it, like, as a collector. But, yeah, it's pretty cool to have. You know, it's um, it's sort of a Dragon Ball game. It's the North American version of a Dragon Ball game. So, yeah, Dragon Power. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, another coming up next in the list is Dragon Ball Z uh, Gekito Tenkaichi Budokai. Pretty sure that's what it's called. It came bundled with this thing called the Detach. I think that's how you pronounce it, or Datach. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But um, basically, the Detach, this, once again, I talked about this a little bit in one of my other videos. It was like a little mini system that you, that you hooked on to your, uh, your Nintendo or Famicom in Japan. You see, you kind of just uh, hook it on there, and then they come with these cards. Like You can see that. They come with all these cards. And you like swipe a barcode, and I once again I've never played this, but I really wanted to have it just because of how obscure it is. Like not many people even know that this exists, so it was just uh, it was cool to get this. It's a uh, you know it's never been opened, great condition, and uh, it, it it looks awesome. Uh, the detached system itself, there were actually a lot of other games for it too. There was like a Gundam game, a Yu Yu Hakusho game, some sports games. Um, it's just when they sold the Detach, instead of, uh, selling it on its own, they decided to, uh, bundle it with a Dragon Ball Z game, because, you know, I mean, you put Dragon Ball Z on anything and it's gonna sell, so... Sell! <laughs> but, yeah, that's, uh, Gekito Tenkaichi Budokai. So, um, if you're curious, just look up some gameplay of it, it's really weird. Uh, but, yeah, I've never actually played these games, I got these just solely as a, uh, collector, so... Let's move on to the games that I actually have played... Let's move on to my Game Boy collection. Yes. Uh, I have all of the cartridges right here. So I don't have the boxes for all of them because some of them... Uh, uh, some of these I got at GameStop um, for like dirt cheap and they were it was only the cartridge. And um, matter of fact, let's look at the boxes. I, I have all of my boxes sitting right here beside my alarm clock. Kind of lined up, looking all nice. Let's actually... Let's actually take them out so we can look at them. Oop. What is this? I forgot I had this. Huh. And, oh man, here it is. The Game Boy Advance. There, there it is right here. I used to be obsessed over Game Boy Advance, let me tell you. It was, it was my first ever uh, Nintendo console ever. Uh, I never had a Nintendo, never had a, a Super Nintendo, never had a 64, GameCube, uh, any of that. And uh, one year for my birthday, I think, my grandma got me a Game Boy Advance, and I played it all the time. All of, uh, I didn't even have an original Game Boy, uh, like, so all of the old Pokemon games and stuff like that, I played 
on my Game Boy Advance. I love this thing so much. Like, <laughs> I can't tell you how many batteries I went through playing this thing because I just played it all the time. Um, but yeah, here are the boxes. Uh, I got them laid out. I'll try to get get all the the little cartridges together so I can actually talk about them. Yeah, I love the Game Boy Advance games. I cannot tell you how much I played these. Okay, so here we go. We got uh, Boo's Fury, which, you know, Legacy of Goku 3. Played that a lot. My brother played that a lot, too. I really loved it. I, wasn't it? I think it was in Boo's, uh, Boo's Fury where uh, you're in HFIL, and you're walking around, and the music is like, bow, meow, 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 dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I love the music in this game. All of the Dragon Ball games, or most of them at least, have great music. Uh, Legendary Super Warriors for the Game Boy Color. Um, I didn't have this back in the day when it came out. I, I got this like I don't know a year ago off of Amazon, just simply because it was it was the one uh, North American Game Boy game, uh, Dr Game Boy Dragon Ball game that I didn't have. And I played it a little bit, but not enough to really give a review of it. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people do love this game. I need to I need to play it a little bit more. But uh yeah, I, I really just got it just to have it. And the cover looks awesome. I love the way the cover looks. Uh Legacy of Goku 2. Um I played this. Uh, I showed the the um strategy guide for it in one of my magazine videos. And there's the uh there's the cart. I actually still have the posters too. Can you can you see that? Yeah, I actually found out how to zoom on this camera. On well, there's Boost Fury, Supersonic Warriors. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Um, let's see what else I got in here. Legacy of Goku. I do not have the box for Legacy of Goku. Got this at GameStop. Cartridge only. I really do want the box though. Um, Supersonic Warriors. Oh my God, I played this game so much. This is I I played this game a ridiculous amount of time. I remember you could do tag teams in this and um, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Super Boo, like super overpowered team, but that was my team. Um, I really enjoyed the story modes. I think they had like a what if story mode in here. Uh, they had a little what if story where Krillin uh, learned the spirit bomb and if you beat his story mode, you could use it in just regular versus matches. He had a spirit bomb. It's his super move. And just that's just, that's really, really cool. I wish other Dragon Ball Z games did stuff like that. Like this, this was an awesome, awesome game. Uh, great music too. Super Sonic Warriors had awesome music. I really, really loved this game to death. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, the collectible card game. Uh, once again, whoops, I didn't have this game back in the day because uh, I didn't know how to play the card game back in the day. I didn't know how to play it until I got that that magazine that I showed off, that Pojo magazine that told you how to play the game. So I never got this, and, and I I got this about the same time I got Legendary Super Warriors off of Amazon about a year ago. And uh, I have never played this, <laughs> ever. I just, oh no, I never thought the Dragon Ball Z card game was all that fun. I just got this to have it, just, you know, because, you know, completion, you know. It, it was the one Dragon Ball Z game I didn't have for Game Boy Advance, so I decided to go ahead and get it. I love the cover, though. The cover looks awesome. But, yeah, not really much I can say about this, aside from, uh, I have it now. <laughs> Uh, Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. I don't have the box for this. I got this at GameStop. This is another one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games of uh, Dragon Ball. I really loved Advanced Adventure. Growing up with a Sega Genesis, um, I really loved like, side-scrolling beat-em-up games like Streets of Rage, Golden Axe. Streets of Rage 2 is actually one of my favorite games of all time. So I really loved Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. It had a very, uh, very similar feel, 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up sort of game. And I really loved it. I loved this game a lot. Great voice acting. A little there's not really voice acting, but you know, little sound bits in there. They sound great. The music is great. Love, love this game. Love it to death. I played it all the time. Like, and I don't know if I was, if my mom was driving me somewhere, if I was on the bus, I was playing this game. Love it. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Taiketsu. Good lord, this game was um. Oh boy, just not a very good game. <laughs> I remember being super excited to get it. Uh, I don't remember when I got this, but I, I do remember being very excited to get this game, and um, it's just not very good. <laughs> then once again, though, the music is pretty good. The, the music's not bad, but um, yeah, the game itself is pretty, uh, pretty, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's Taiketsu, and then uh, Dragon Ball GT Transformation. 
This was another sort of beat em up style game. I actually did enjoy this quite a bit. Um, but for some reason, I didn't play it all that much. Like, I remember liking it, but I didn't really play it that much. But it was pretty cool from what I remember. Yeah. It's, it's uh, Dragon Ball GT Transformations, yeah. Not really much I can say about it, aside from um, I played it a little bit, and I thought it was pretty cool, and didn't really play it much after. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's all of my Game Boy Advance, uh, Game Boy Color, Dragon Ball Z games. I know there are Japanese Dragon Ball Z games uh, for, for Game Boy and stuff like that, but eh, I, I'm not really able to find them. Uh, a lot of times, and when I am able to find them, they're like way, way too expensive, like more than I'd be willing to pay for them. So I'm like, eh, you know, kind of put that on the back burner for a while. I don't need them. I have all of the North American Dragon Ball Z games, and I'm I'm cool with that. But yeah, that's all the boxes. Uh, here's all the cartridges. I loved them. Just about all of them I loved. Even Taiketsu, even though it was a pretty crappy game, I did still play it a lot just because, you know, it was Dragon Ball Z. And yeah, like I said, pretty good music. I, I don't think I've played any Dragon Ball Z game that has bad music. Um, well, I'll get to that later. <laughs> but yeah, here, all, all of my uh, Game Boy Advance games, my original Game Boy Advance, first Nintendo console I ever owned, and actually now that I think about it, I think this is still the only Nintendo console. I don't have a Wii or anything, so I don't have like a... That's another thing I loved about Advanced Adventure, is it was... You don't see Dragon Ball games very often. I think this is the only Dragon Ball game that I own. I don't have a Wii, so I don't have Revenge of King Piccolo. I don't have a DS, so I don't have any of the Dragon Ball Origins games. And, um, yeah, I just, you know, you don't see Dragon Ball games very often, so I thought that was really cool. Same with GT. You don't see GT games very often, so, you know, you got all your Dragon Balls, all of your Dragon Ball games, and then you have a, for a little variety, you got Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball GT if you want. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I loved all the Game Boy Advance games, or just about all of them. <laughs> And, um, now on to the PlayStation games. Now, there were only three games released for the PlayStation 3 Dragon Ball games. And you might be wondering, well, if there's only three games, why do you have a big old stack of games? Well, there are multiple versions <laughs> of, of the games. We got, uh, let's see, we got Ultimate Battle 22, the, uh, the North American version, the 2003 North American version. Um, if memory serves... Uh, the voices are still in Japanese. It's just like the names and all the display and stuff is in English. I thought when I first got this and um, and this, the uh, 2003 or two th 2004 version of Dragon Ball GT Final Bout, when I got these, um, you know, they had the Funimation logo on them. So I thought that Funimation had gone back and redone the voices for these games and that was not the case. <laughs> there, there, there are no Funimation voices in these games at all. Um, the voices in this are still in Japanese. The voices in this game are still the really crappy voices from the original North American version of Final Bout, which I will get to this later. Uh, but for now, yeah, just the North American version of Ultimate Battle 22. Um, I really loved Ultimate Battle 22, even though the gameplay itself isn't that great. Um love love the music ultimate battle 22 has amazing music um look it up if you've never heard it i know most of it is from the super butoden games i've talked about this in one of my previous videos but uh i still love it and um okay well I i'm approaching the the 14 minute mark and uh i'm sorry i know this is kind of inconvenient but i can really i can only record videos in 15 minute segments so i'm gonna stop right here and uh we're gonna pick up um looking at the the playstation games and uh, onward and, um, yeah, this has been part one, and thanks for watching.